In this animation, we will first convert the mesh into beautiful curly curves, then apply the shape changing effect on our channel. Thanks, sci fi. Delete cube and light, then import 3D object. OBJ 3D objects are good for this type of animations. Click S and read. Move your mouse to reduce the scale. Import one more OBJ 3D object. Then right click Shade Smooth to both the mesh. Click Ctrl A and apply all transform to both the mesh. This is very important. Go to Geometry node and clear the space. Select the object and click Create key. This will bring the subject on the center. Then press 1 for front view. Select the deer and hide the tiger. Then click New in the Geometry node. Add instance on point in between by pressing Shift A. Then add mesh line and connect it with instance. This will convert the deer into straight lines. Now add distributes point on face. We will make the density 100 but for now make it 25 because this will slow down your computer. Add align earlier to vector and connect it with instance on point rotation. Select Z on it. Reduce the factor to 0.5. Reduce the mesh line count line to 7 and offset Z to 0.6. Add realize instance, then set position. Add noise texture and vector math. Subtract. Connect noise texture to vector math and vector math value to 0.5. Then connect vector then connect vector math to set position offset this will add some noise to the straight lines play with the value of noise texture then add separate geometry and ray cast this will remove the extra line more than the mesh body shape connect ray cast then connect group input to ray cast Add normal and connect it to the ray direction. I just forgot some steps. Go to the mesh line and select end point on it. Then on instance on point, give minus 1 on Z scale. Connect distribute point on faces normal to vector. Go back to the separate geometry and add mesh to curve. Add set spline type and select Bezier on it. Then add two set handle position. Add one more vector math. Select scale on it. Curve tangent and connect it with vector math. In vector mat to both the set handle position and select right on the second handle position add set curve radius then then float curve and spline parameter add curve to mesh then curve circle Give it a radius, give it a resolution of 6 and radius of 0.1. Connect it to curve to mesh. Play with the float curve graph. This will add beautiful random curves on the mesh. Now add set material. We will apply material after few minutes. Now select all the nodes and make a duplicate by pressing shift D. Drag the second mesh from the view layer. Connect it with distribution point faces, distribution point on faces and recast. 
now if you connect it with uh, group output you will see the same effect on tiger now it's time for shape changing effect add set position then mix rgb node and transfer at attribute select vector and index on it then add position node connect to transfer attribute to source then position to transfer attribute attribute transfer attribute to mix rgb color 2 and position to color 1 and mix rgb to set position position now if you make the mix rgb 0 you will see the deer and if you make the mix rgb 1 you will see the cat we have to play with some of the cat nodes values to get the best result which i will tell you in few minutes make mix rgb 0 then apply a material on the material setting some name give it some name and select this name on both the set material now go to the setting tab and apply some inter interesting material increase the metallic completely then add color wrap and connect it with emission Act constant on it move the handle and add ambient occlusion give it a sample of 8 and distance of 0.2 select whatever two color of your choice to see the effect you have to go to the cycle select maximum sampling of 12 on viewport and 32 on render then go to the render view uncheck scene world then you can see the effect and you can adjust the color by moving the color wrap go back to the layout then select camera and press 0 for the camera view press n go to view and select camera to view then adjust your camera with the help of mouse and shift key reduce the focal length to 35 after satisfying with your camera position don't forget to uncheck camera to view otherwise you will lose your camera position add a plane this will act as a ground for the scene adjust the plane position go to the setting tab and press new by selecting the plane and give a name increase the metallic and reduce the roughness Add color wrap and connect it with the base color. Then add Voronoi texture. And add color wrap and add color to the color wrap. Then press Ctrl T if you have enabled Node Wrangler and connect object to mapping. Add bump node and connect it to the normals and also with Voronoi texture. Play with color wrap. Go to the geometry node. Now we will apply the correct value for the cat. Make mix RGB factor 1, increase cat distribution point on face density to 55, the deer density to 100. Then on cat mesh line, make z and location 0.5 and, <coughs> and vector math scale 2.8 increase cat instance on point z scale value 2.2 or 1 and noise texture scale to 5 detail to 2 and roughness to 0 if you are satisfied then ok otherwise play with the values come back to the layout add one more camera to your scene if you think it is required i am adding one more click the camera icon to make it as a active camera click zero for camera view then again press and and select camera to view and adjust your camera to the scene 
by one camera is focusing on deer and second one is focusing on tiger. Don't forget to uncheck camera to view. Adjust the plane if required. Increase the timeline and make a end frame of 150. Go to the geometry node, select the tiger and add a timeline. Mix RGB factor 0. Then add frame 40. Enter keyframe on mix RGB. Frame 115. Make mix RGB 1 and enter keyframe. This scene is making my laptop laggy, so I am not able to show you the animation. Come back to the layout. If it is making too laggy, then select the DR. Go to the modifier setting and uncheck it. It will disable for viewport. Make the first camera as an active camera by pressing the camera icon. Then go to the frame 1. Frame 1 again select the first camera and press I select location to frame 115 then press Z and middle mouse button and drag your mouse forward then enter I and select location then press the camera icon of second camera to make it as an active camera then enable the effect again for the viewport frame 100 select the second camera press i and select location go to last frame press g and middle mouse button and drag your mouse then click i select location again at frame 1 make the first camera as an active camera then move your mouse cursor over timeline press m mark bind camera to mark Frame 96 make the second camera as an active camera then move your mouse cursor over timeline press M mark bind camera to mark if you want to add depth of field go to the camera setting enable depth of field select DR and F stop to 0.1 for both the cameras For background leaves, go to the edit preferences, add on, search leaf and enable it. Then press shift A on curve, you will see the option. Go to the go to leaf, show leaf, select the values. Then then select the branch and remove it move it backward scale it and rotate it according to your scene add one more different kind of leaf delete its branch also move it backward scale it rotate it now make many duplicates of it by pressing alt d and adjust it according to your scene in the background go to the material setting and apply material now we will add three aerial light to the scene give it a strength of 500 adjust it according to your preference give a strength of 200 and 300 make the world completely black it will take some time to adjust the background so spend the time on it and tag me on instagram do one render animation to see everything is correct or not
apply the same leaf material if you want to learn about the proximity shader check the left video thank you very much